Well guys, it's been a minute since I made a video and uh, I've been busy working on the other side on a uh, Mustang, put the floors in it. So that's taken a little bit of my time. Uh, but I am farting around with this Austin Healey 3000. I'm putting the engine back together. If you looked at any of my other videos earlier, you saw just how horrible this engine was. Well, let me give you a look-see at what it looks like right now. Alright, here it is. She's on her way being assembled. And let me tell you, you talking about something that was nasty. I have washed this block with everything that I have to try to get the rust out of it. And... I bet you this block has been washed probably 15 times at least, thoroughly. I even had to run, uh, I knocked the oil drain, the oil plugs out of the block that run through it. They are sealed plugs. Here's one of them right here. It's a plug you have to knock out, and then I tapped it uh, and put a screw-in plug in it. Uh, and that's at both ends here because the oil galleys were even rusty. So I had to make a, a uh, fan, which is a long pole, a uh, long piece of rod with a sanding piece on it, and sand the inside of the oil uh, galleys. And then wire brush all the other oil galleys to get the, make sure they're spotless. And once I got it all clean, in order to. Uh, really seal the block for anything coming out of the cast iron I went ahead and painted it with uh, block paint and uh, so I had to replace the camshaft the front cover I still haven't found an oil pan for it yet I'm still working on that I guess I'll run across one eventually even the valve cover was too bad to use so I got another valve cover and uh, that seems to be my box of junk uh, all the parts that were they, they weren't worn out they were rusted too bad to use and uh, right now I am going to take the flywheel and back housing off and take it outside and see if I can clean that up because in order to assemble this I'm going to put the flywheel on this on the back of it here and sit it on its butt sit it on the flywheel and see if I could put the pistons in it that way. Normally you'd put it on engine stand, but I don't want to go through that trouble right now. Uh, these are the parts. And I got the rock arm shaft back together. I had to chop it in pieces to get it apart. And uh, I put a new shaft in it, new springs. And I had to drill these plugs out right there in order to get these adjusters out. They were locked up. Everyone was frozen. And as you can see, they're, you can turn them now. But I had to take everything apart. Just, man, one mess after another. And I changed the oil pump. This is a high volume oil pump. Uh, and I wire brushed all the head bolts. But just sitting on the desk, they started to rust a little bit. Uh, I guess the rust just keeps coming back. So what I did is after I got them perfectly clean, now I'm soaking them in old motor oil. That'll probably be fine. That's my new or previously owned uh, tappets. They're going to get used. And I think I've got everything pretty much cleaned up. Even had to replace the harmonic balancer on the front of it because uh, it was bad. Luckily I got a guy that took care of me on that. So uh, let me show you the Mustang over here. This is what's taken a little bit of my time. Uh, I put floors in this. All this was gone. That whole assembly there. The uh, inner rocker was completely gone. Just nothing there. So I had to fabricate all that because I didn't want to take the center out. And underneath the center is okay. So I just left the center and attached the floors to everything. 
and I went underneath and, and welded everything. So the floor looks like a floor now. I mean, it was really gone. And then I got to come over here and do this side. This is the good side, but you can see it's still got holes all through it. And of course, the sill is gone. And then I got to do back beyond the seats. There, they need to be replaced. There's my new panels and some more. So this is what's taking a little bit of my time. These paying customers come in, and then I can't get my own stuff done. But this car, uh, she needs some help. But uh, no big deal. Yeah, I still haven't done anything with the Model A. Probably never will. Huh. She's just going to be a dead soldier or planter in the yard or whatever. All right, and I haven't done anything with the Healy itself. Uh, I've been once I get the engine done. Uh, yeah, let's see. Once you get the engine done and thrown over in a corner and forgot about that, I might start on the Healy, start nibbling on it. And i got to figure out exactly what I want to do here. Uh, how far I want to... What kind of job I want to do on it. That That's pretty much it. But we'll see. I, I don't know yet. I haven't done anything with the car. I haven't even really looked it over good. only thing I know that the floors need help, but the frame is good. And it's just uh, basically rusted at your feet on the floor. So... I think I can make a car out of it. We'll see. But I am having trouble finding parts. Uh, some parts. Some parts are readily available, but some are not. And there's the cylinder head. And if you look at the earlier videos, you'll see just how horrible it was. Uh, and it took a tremendous amount of cleaning. And I had to get uh, new springs, and new keepers, and new locks. And I had to get one valve because it was bent. So, uh, we're getting it. It's slow. But, she'll be alright. And I haven't got rid of this turd yet. This is a uh, Triumph. Uh, yeah. A little TR3, I think it is. Belongs to a friend of mine. So, it's in the way. Of course. But, that's, that's about it. There's not much to see. Uh, I would like to make a more interesting video, but I just don't have anything here to, to show you. I just wanted to keep you up on date on how the engine's going. Uh, so here we are. So guys, uh, not much to see. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Go home. All right. So I guess I'll see you all later. Bye.